This item right here, I paid 50 cents for at a garage sale and someone just paid over $1,300 for it at auction today. Let me explain. For those of you that didn't see the video, a couple of videos back, my community was having a garage sale and I picked this up at just like a random garage sale and I'll actually roll the footage, but I picked this out of a box. I've picked up so many sealed VHS tapes. I've seen so many YouTubers do really well selling some of this stuff. Um, but in my past experience, I've picked up so many and just had to donate them because they weren't worth anything. Um, when I picked this up and I was showing, you even saw it in the video, I was talking about how I think I can finally get money for a VHS tape that I picked up. And I was like, yeah, I think I can probably get $30 for it. Well, when I was searching up uh, Back to the Future sealed VHS, I wasn't putting in the year. Uh, the ones that were going for like $30 were from 1992 or something like that. But when I sat down to list this after I already published the video and everything like that, I saw that this had 1986 on the back. So I looked up sealed VHS Back to the Future 1986 and I could not believe my eyes. I saw one was listed uh, that was graded for $18,000. And then I was like, okay, you know, people would list stuff for crazy. That doesn't mean that it's worth that. And then I filtered as solds. And I saw solds not for eighteen thousand, uh, but a bunch that were like between one and two thousand dollars. So I was still skeptical. So I'm like, okay, I'm listing this at auction. Mine looks like the same listings that are getting these crazy amounts, but it didn't have the watermarks on the edge. As you can see, man, just handling this is kind of like giving me anxiety. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, there are no watermarks on the edges, but it looked like a legit seal. Um, so yeah, I just figured I would run an auction just to see and like I said, it was absolutely crazy I was watching the auction because it ended this morning and I'll show you a screenshot I think I screenshotted it at like three seconds left and it was only I say only but it was still a crazy amount Even if I got that it was at a hundred and forty something or something like that um, and last second I saw twelve hundred dollars I could not believe it. That is absolutely crazy. I guess I'll give you a little idea. Uh, so I am by no means an expert. Uh, like I said, this is the first VHS tape that I've actually picked up and it was actually worth something. Um, it sounds like when you find the MCA logo in yellow, that adds value. Um, I know having the barcode on the spine adds value. And then, like I said, if it has watermarks, that just tells people that it's like a legit original seal. Um, so that'll add value as well. All right, so as shown, the buyer was all in 1346.16. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, he was charged 82.16 for sales tax. Even though I don't see any of that, I am still um, like charged fees on that amount. So right here, you can see this category, movies and TV category, gets charged at the 14.6%. Uh, fee rate. So they just took that uh, bulk number right there, multiplied it by 14.6, and they deducted 196.54 for fees, and then another 30 cents just for the insertion fee for the listing to make it a total of 196.84 for fees. Um, and then they go up here and they show you once you do that calculation, I am left with $1,067.16. And that is, of course, before we pay the tax man. Like I said, that is before I pay taxes on that money as well as pay the shipping fees because I did put free shipping on that. But that shouldn't be anything crazy. Um, I'll just throw that in. Actually, I'll show you how I'm going to ship that right now. Although this is plenty small enough to go in like a little 8 by 6 by 4 box, ship really cheaply um, and probably get there safely. But I am taking zero chances. I am going to bubble wrap the heck out of this. I'm putting it in a nice big, plenty big box for it. Um, you could fit so many VHS tapes in there. But yeah, tons of bubble wrap. Um, I'm actually going to use a ton of packing paper as well. Another positive to using priority mail, uh, paying a little bit more, is I can insure it. So if something were to happen where uh, this is going through the post office, if say like a hole got punched in the box and it damaged the tape, then um, I have that insurance to cover uh, at least the majority of it. I don't, I don't know if it would cover the whole thing. It would cover a lot more than the zero insurance that you would get through first class. All right, what do you guys think of our uh, bubble wrap burrito? I think that thing is pretty protected. I'll add more tape on the edges and stuff like that, 
but uh, that thing should not be getting damaged. I'm gonna still cover it in packing paper and stuff like that. Let me get this thing completely packed up. We'll print off the label. I'll show you how much I paid for that. And then we'll do a little breakdown at the end. All right, so it weighs just under two pounds, but we round up with priority because you're gonna get charged that anyway. And then it is a 12 by 12 by eight box. And then we go over here, two pounds, 12 by 12 by eight. And then it is going priority mail. So just that alone is costing me 885. I apologize about the people mowing lawns out there. And then we scroll down. We definitely are requiring a signature and we definitely are insuring it. And I was correct. I think I said early in the video, they only let you go up to $1,000 coverage. So if something were to happen, we're gonna get $1,000 back instead of the 1,200. But uh, yeah, that feels a lot better than having no insurance. And that is costing me an additional 1451. So we go down here, label and insurance, it's costing me 2626. I really had some doubts in the process because um, I did have a whole bunch of watchers, but there wasn't much like bidding going on. And I also had a few people reach out and try to tell me it was a fake seal or, or a reseal, that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, we just kept it live and I wanted to see what would happen. Although we are walking away with a solid chunk of change from this sale, uh, let me break down to you how like the eBay fees work and uh, just kind of like what I would get out of a deal like this. So I'm not even gonna lie, I have the numbers right here on my screen, but we're gonna go through them. So we're gonna start from the gross sale and work our way down to what I make before taxes. So it started out as $1,346.16 for the gross sale, everything the buyer paid. And then the reason that I go from that is because I am tax or not tax, I am um, feed on the sales tax. So he paid 8216 on the sales tax. I don't see any of that, but I'm still paying fees on that. So once you take out fees, that's 19684 in fees. Uh, and then we paid, like you saw, 2626 uh, for the shipping label insurance requiring a signature, all that good stuff. And then of course, 50 cents for what we paid for the item. That gets us down to, if my math was correct, $1,040.40. Um, and that is, of course, before gas, uh, paying the tax man, my time, that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, that is, that's crazy. But that's about it. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Let me know what you think about this. I know this was definitely something different compared to my normal thing. But I definitely, I just thought it was funny how I was clueless and then it turns out to be a $1,200 item. Like you guys saw, I thought it was like $30 maybe. Um, but yeah, I definitely just thought this was worthy of its own video. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and you have a great day. Bye. Uh, I think this is the first sealed VHS that potentially will actually be worth something, which is surprising because I picked up so many sealed VHSs and they've just been duds. Um, but Back to the Future, super popular movie. Um, we paid 50 cents for that along with this bike thing. So a dollar for the pair. I think I can get around 30 bucks free shipping for that. So nothing crazy, but for the price we paid, still decent. Um, I saw on the other ones, the ones that are going for like bigger money, there's like watermarks or stamps on them, which this does not have any of those. So yeah.